In this video, I'm finally going to try Venetian glass blowing for the first time ever. And if there's anything I learned, it gets hot. Stay tuned for the heat and this video sponsor, Skillshare. I am in Bath in the UK, where I will be treated to a session at Bath Aqua Glass of glass blowing. I'm really just hoping you come back with a full set of eyebrows. This is Bath Aqua Glass. They had me in at such short notice for a day of intense heat and creativity. My guides today are Slim and Liz. Hi Liz. You can check them out on Instagram. I'll link to them in the description as well. I'm going to show you how to gather the glass out of the furnace safely and then we're going to take a couple of turns at you doing it, say how you take on and then we're going to make some glass. Awesome, let's do it. So we just got stuck into it, starting with a demo on how to try pulling glass for the first time out of the incredibly hot furnace. Burning at 1150 degrees, you can't see inside. Then I was shown how a few of the tools worked and given my first chance to give them a go. We're making a sausage out of glass. Yeah. Just to the viewers, it's not an edible sausage. After Slim felt he could trust me, we move on to starting on with our first project, making some paperweights, giving us the opportunity to play around with some patterns and colours for the first time, which will be encased inside an outer blob, which would be our paperweight. Now we're going to make one each. Slim made the first one and took me through all of the steps and the things I needed to follow and remember when making mine. So now it's my turn where I'm just going to hopefully follow the same steps, but with a little more hands-on help. So while I won't be able to see how the final colours show for days, fortunately, we can jump into the future and see how they turned out now. Is this my paperweight, perhaps? It is! And it's, a, it's, it's cute! It's a little sploopy. It actually looks kind of rad. That was a lot of fun, but in the meantime, it's time to move on to the next bit, the glass blowing, actually getting the air in the glass. Make sure you don't blow too hard and make sure you don't pop it. Do you want me to show you what will happen? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get a what not oh, to do demo. Oh yes, I love these. So we're not gonna shape it up. We're not gonna blow gently. We're gonna blow really, really hard. Oh my God. So don't crush it up in your hands. Yeah. And don't put it in your mouth, it doesn't taste nice. Fun fact, go back a couple of hundred years ago, that's what confetti used to be made out of. Oh gee, that sounds really irresponsible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make an actual bauble. All right. And then you're gonna make it. We're gonna do the what to do bit. And if you like the what to do bit as much as I do, you're gonna love this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and members and teachers like me. It's the largest online learning community for creators with an absolutely vast amount of topics of things that you can learn to apply to your creative passions. Photography, animation, graphic design, business management, marketing, productivity, music, and the list goes on. All of that is masterfully and carefully curated on Skillshare to help you develop your skills, your business, your hobby, your passion into something better. It's an on-demand platform with stackable lessons so members can learn at their own pace, no matter the skill level. I have a course on how to talk to camera and make YouTube videos. I have an in-depth class breaking down the complexities of anatomy to make it easy to illustrate. And there's so much out there on Skillshare that you really just need to go check it out for yourself. And thanks to them sponsoring this video, you can check it out for free. And in fact, the first 1,000 people who use the link in the description will get a whole month of Skillshare completely free. So check out my link in the description to get your one month for free. And a huge thank you, of course, to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, let's go back to the past and figure out if I could hone my skills with some help with some glass blowing. Our first glass blown project will be a bauble, like the ones you hang on a Christmas tree. And once again, the ever patient and experienced Slim will be our guide. Oh, 
turn. My turn. Okay, so it was my turn and we laid out the colors that I picked and my aim was to have a massive white on one side and then with the purple and turquoise gradient that I wouldn't of course get to see until many days later when all of the colors finally cure and cool down. Let's jump again to the future to see how they turned out. This was the bauble that Slim made. Wow, oh, that's nice. And it feels nice around the edges too. And those colors turn out lovely. Let's see how my one turned out, shall we? Ooh, that's lovely! I love the white. That that actually definitely feels winter festive. Oh, that's really nice. Check out the baubles on that one. So, I mean, first the bauble and then the world. What's next? Vase. Vase. Big step up, okay. So I actually had a bit of cheek and challenged Slim to make a grassy vase. You want strands of grass? Yeah. Out. I wanted to see what a professional would do given the challenge to work against those turning circles. How would he go about getting streaks that are more upwards rather than being so outwards or sideways in their direction? So of course, Slim launched right into my challenge and man, it was fun to watch someone who knows what they're doing attack a challenge like that. Now, of course, I still had no idea if this grass and sky challenge I gave Slim worked because the colors aren't visible, or at least they wouldn't be for a few days. But let's jump to the future. <gasps> Whoa, that looks so good. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. Okay, you've done a lovely grass thing with a bit more refinement than I could aim for. I'm gonna go for a tornado of chaos. Cause yep. it doesn't matter whatever direction it ends up in, I'll have nailed it, right? So we started gathering glass and colors to try and bring my vision of a chaos glass storm swirl to life. Did I pick something that would be almost impossible to get wrong? Maybe, but I also thought it might have a shot at looking really cool. And I had a vision, a swirling gray storm of chaos amidst fiery reds and oranges and purples and... Hey, that looks, that looks pretty cool. It's less chaos than I expected. It actually looks planned. It actually looks all right. I like it. Everyone here at Bath Aquaglass has been so accommodating. If you're ever in Bath and you want a great activity, you know exactly where to go. These guys take care of you. But the fun is not yet over because my daughter loves kiddies and I've been told that our glass master extraordinaire here will be willing to make a kitty in the time we have left. Got 10 minutes, why not? your love heart. Just pretend I made it for you. Oh, you I got a pink that. kitty <laughs> and it's shiny gold. Wow, look at that. So Do shiny. Do you love a bee? Yeah. So shiny.